Jeremy Hansen here from Fox Valley Tech with another segment of Life on the Farm. And I'm standing in the middle of an alfalfa field, and not your typical alfalfa field. This is a new seeding field seeded with alfalfa, peas, and oats. And this field was planted the last week of April, so our, our window for cutting is coming up in the next couple of weeks. And a few things that I wanted to talk about is, and to be aware about both with our new seeding fields as well as our first cutting alfalfa fields is some insect awareness. And two insects that we're mainly concerned about are alfalfa weevils and potato leaf hoppers. And alfalfa weevils are generally reliant, reliant on growing degree days. And as of today, we're right in that window. I did some sweeping before and I didn't see many insects out in this field yet, but I'm sure they're coming. Second of being a potato leaf hopper. And potato leaf hoppers, we need to use a sweep net to determine how much population we have in the field to give us the proper treatment recommendation for the specific field. So some of the injury symptoms are uh, for alfalfa weevils, you're going to see some feeding damage on the upper leaves of the plant. We call that in the agronomy world, you know, shot hole feeding or some damage. So if you start seeing holes in the upper leaves of your plants, you might want to call an agronomist. You'll want to look for a reddish or bronze colored upper leaves on the alfalfa plant for severe injury. And at that point, treatment options are very limited because the damage has already been done. And speaking of treatment options, we could spray an insecticide on this field, but it really depends on our sweep net results. And that basically comes from the number of leaf hoppers, on potato leaf hoppers specifically, per sweep. So I'm going to sweep a number of times and I'm going to make the division. So really general rules of thumb, because I never remember to have my chart with me when I'm out in the field, is 0.1 leaf hoppers per sweep for inch of growth on the alfalfa plant. So once we're at that point, we need to talk to an agronomist and decide if we're actually going to spray this field with an insecticide or not. If we are not going to spray an insecticide, most insecticides have a seven day pre-harvest window on them. So if we're within, within a week of harvesting, we're probably just going to cut it a few days early. And if we are going to spray an insecticide, we definitely need to alert our honeybee growers and while we're standing out in an alfalfa field, one thing to not forget about is uh, fertilizer requirements. Because of last year's weather concerns, a lot of potassium fertilizer and phosphorus fertilizer was not applied when it maybe should have. And we need to consult our soil samples, our soil tests to determine that. But in general, an alfalfa plant will use 360 pounds of potassium in a season, and that equates to about 600 pounds of potassium chloride fertilizer. Um, equally with phosphorus fertilizer, about 80 pounds of phosphorus fertilizer. So ideal time is right after first cutting of our fields, so let's try not to forget about that. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on in our hay fields right now as we're really busy out in the fields trying to get everything else done. So let's not forget about our insects that may or may not happen, as well as our fertility needs as we are really setting ourselves up to have a nice bumper crop this year and hopefully catch up on our feed inventories a little bit. So for Life on the Farm, I'm Jeremy Hansen.